Hi, I'm Stephanie Strange. Want to hear something scary? Inez sat quietly in the dimly lit room, her senses on high alert as she surveyed her surroundings. This wasn't her usual scene. How did she end up at this bizarre cosmetic sales meeting, surrounded by these women who seemed to move in such unison? Her instincts told her this was nothing but a pyramid scheme, and she was itching to escape. As she gathered the courage to get up and make her exit, an immediate hush fell upon the room. All eyes turned towards the stage, where a mysterious figure gracefully emerged, captivating everyone's attention. It was Amani, the top saleswoman and founder of the company. Ines remembered why she had been convinced to show up in the first place. It was Amani. She had a captivating aura. Her beauty was undeniable, but there was something more. She possessed an undeniable charisma that captivated the attention of all in her presence. Ines sat back down, unable to tear her eyes away from Amani. The woman began presenting the new skincare line. After the presentation, Inez went over to the buffet to get coffee. She nervously cracked a joke to one of the attendees, saying Amani's overwhelming success and beauty must have only happened because she had made a deal with the devil. But the laughter died on her lips when she saw the embarrassed look on the woman's face. She slowly turned around to find Amani standing directly behind her. For a moment, she froze. But to her relief, Amani smirked and led her away from the crowd. You're funny, you know that? Amani told her. I could use someone with your confidence in my inner circle. Inez was pleasantly surprised when Amani told her to expect an elite invitation. When an elaborate gift box arrived at her home inviting her to the exclusive retreat, she was thrilled. Yet despite her excitement, she couldn't shake the feeling that something was off about the whole thing. The invitation instructed her to go to a campsite deep in the woods promising an enchanting evening where everyone's true talent would shine. There was a list of strange items to bring like all white clothes and there was a bottle to drink before they arrived. Ines scoffed at the idea, dismissing the elixir included in the invitation as a gimmick so she tossed it in the trash. Ines was mesmerized by the campsite. It had beautiful yurts throughout the area and the environment was just all around picture perfect. And then suddenly a horn blew and all the women dressed identically in white lined up, instinctively forming a circle around the blazing campfire. Inez hesitated, then followed suit, feeling an eerie connection between herself and the others. But as they began chanting, an inexplicable dread crept into her heart. As a fire danced before them, Amani appeared right before them, seemingly emerging from the flames. Inez, gasp in horror as a combination of a strong perfume and human decay crept in on her. And while trying to figure out where the smell was coming from, her eyes met at Amani. As her skin burned away, revealing a demonic creature beneath. Stories from her grandmother, Aji, flooded her mind as she recognized the entity before her, La Diablalis, a demon born from a human who sold her soul to the devil for eternal youth. Inez finally understood why they were in the woods. The women were meant to be Amani's sacrifices. Then, dread surged through her veins. Desperate to survive and not wanting to draw attention to herself, she tried to snap another woman out of the trance-like state, but it was too late. Inez remembered grandmother's warnings and discreetly turned her white t-shirt backward, hoping it would grant her protection. Slowly, she began edging away from the circle, trying to remain unnoticed. With each sacrifice, the chanting grew louder, and Inez knew she had to act quickly. Her heart pounding in her chest, she was almost out of the circle. When the unthinkable happened, the chanting stopped. Amani's eyes locked onto Inez. With no thought at all, Inez broke into a sprint, her mind racing with desperate thoughts of survival. Amani's haunting laughter filled the air her power urging the other woman to go after Inez. She found herself entering deeper into the woods, branching, clawing at her skin, and her breath getting heavier and heavier as she ran. The retreat had become a nightmarish hunt for her life. 
She reached her car, whispering words of prayer she remembered from her grandmother. But suddenly, Amani was upon her. That's when it hit Inez. One of the most important things to break the spell was that she should have turned her shirt inside out and walked backwards from the circle. Merely turning her shirt backwards had not been enough to save her. Inez lived, but her heart skipped a beat every time she saw Amani's new forever youthful line makeup commercial. She knew the tragic secret of internal beauty. To what extent will the sacrifice of lives continue, all to preserve the internal youth of those who have struck a sinister bargain?